And there in the doorway stands the singing bookkeeper, Ruby Garland. Stop right there. Ruby? What are you doing here? More importantly, what are you doing here? I guess I shouldn't be too surprised after that sinister plot you cooked up in Nantucket. You must be working with Christine to rip off Penny Pincher. What are you talking about? Holly emailed that New York Post story about you to the whole staff. Your knack for killing people must be why she hired you. I'm innocent. I tell you, I'm innocent. Oh, save your breath. I know all about your secret little shopping trip to buy brownies. I followed you to the Piggly Wiggly. My lips are sealed, just as long as you help me settle a score. What exactly do you want me to do? Kill Gloria Pinter, just like you poisoned that TV chef in New York. How many times do I have to say it? Someone else poisoned my kale hot cocoa. I did not kill Sweet Sour Buttercup. No. Too bad that shove I gave you didn't knock some sense into you. I guess I have no choice but to call the police. Wait, you pushed me down the stairs? Why? You were in my way. I was taking a photo of Penny Pincher's two-timing wife romancing my man, Diego. Wait until I show him this photo. Christine is the real culprit behind his exorbitant bills, along with her whiny, injured accomplice. You're going to pay. Uh, I'm just the pastry chef. Hold on here. If you didn't tamper with the books, why did Christine fire you? To protect herself. She's been illegally discharging patients to get higher reimbursements with new Medicare patients. I came back to collect more proof. Well, we've got evidence, too. This letter from the board of directors proves Christine had to get rid of Mr. Pincher. Max, Max, come quick. Rose Marie is on stage singing Ave Maria, and the crowd is going crazy. What? How dare Christine let someone else sing my song? Get out of my way. I'm going to wring that singer's neck. Stop. That's my mother. (laughs) 